I'd like to introduce all of my watch fans to a new addition in my collection. It's an Italian watch brand established in 1860 by Giovanni Panerai that I frankly never thought I'd be able to wear because of the typically larger case sizes they offer. But in this case, we see something for almost everyone. We're talking about the Panerai Pam 184 Radiomere GMT G Series that had a limited run of 1,000 pieces and was only made for two years starting in 2004. I love the classy feel this gives off and paired with this burgundy brown croc strap, it really brings a new dynamic to the table in style and in stature. Elegance never looked so good with this cushioned case eye catcher that comes in at a very wearable 42 millimeters and a 12 millimeter thickness with a 46 millimeter lug to lug that wears more like a 42. I just adore the dimensions and the overall legibility and refinement with this reference. If you're a strap fanatic, it'll be good to know that a 24 millimeter should fit perfectly, but technically you could get away with a smaller size like a 22 millimeter or a 23 due to how the strap attaches to the watch. Retail, you'll see these going for around $6,000 and they're holding their value fairly well around the $5,400 range on the used market. I unfortunately don't have the original Panerai box, but I do have a spare that works fine for storage. I also don't have the original black double deployant strap because I picked it up used, but I did manage to snag an original Panerai croc strap, unworn, that has all the correct branding and a buckle option. I have another strap option I thought worked out okay, but if you're geared more toward the casual look, then maybe give a nylon strap a try. This one is also from Panerai and dresses it down somewhat, but I am partial to the dressier strap for this selection. The watch case has a brilliant high gloss polish all the way around, which might be why it's so difficult to dress this one down. It's flashy, but in all the right ways. The tips of the crowns are textured with the GMT signification on the top screw down crown, and it functions as an internal pilot GMT that moves in a 24 hour cycle per day. The bottom screw down crown has the Panerai logo and provides normal automatic watch function with date, time, and GMT hand manipulation. Both crowns provide 100 meters of water resistance. The dial is truly a marvel to look at with the small seconds and Cyclops date window that provides clear visibility. At the bottom, we see an L Swiss made L indication, which tells us the watch is of course Swiss made and also that there is a small amount of tritium in the loomed areas that are photoluminescent. Panerai has really made this legible and I enjoy the 12 and six o'clock numerical print as well. If we spin the watch around, we get an extra treat that may be even better than the front. A very decorative movement can be seen through the open case back. The machining is top notch and really looks better than the watch's price point. This movement is very rare for Panerai and may only appear in around six of their watches. It is the JLC Caliber 897, doing business as the Panerai Caliber OP13. It includes refinements that help with shock absorption and is very robust. It has a unidirectional wind and ceramic rotor bearings, 35 joules, hacking capabilities, 38 hour power reserve, and beats fluidly at 4 hertz. I really hope you enjoyed my review of one of my personal favorites in my collection. I do hope to bring you more watch reviews as I acquire them throughout the year. If you like watches, please consider subscribing and I promise to bring you some gorgeous finds in the world of horology. I personally thank all of you for your interest and wish you the best in your watch collecting journey. Cheers!